purpose, purpose, live your life with a purpose. And our next guest, Nicole, knows all about that. Hello, Nicole. How are you? I'm good. How are you? Good. So I was telling you that one of the people that I like is Gloria Gaynor, right? I will survive. She's like my power song or whatever. We all have people in our lives that empower us to greatness. Yes. Okay. So tell us a little bit about your journey and why you do what you do now. So I started off as an educator. Um, my heart is to help others and educate um, all walks of life. I started with educating children. Um, but over the years, I found myself to be supportive of people, um, whether they're looking for another career or they need help with resumes. And that's something that I've always done because I want to see people succeed and do well. Um, so with that experience, I decided to create Passion to Purpose. Um, and the goal of Passion to Purpose is to help people live out their life the best way they know how um, through their passions and their interests um, so that they can be successful. And, and live in authenticity too, it's very important. And without naming names, can you share with us one of the stories that just was so impactful for you that it like lit you up when you saw that transformation happen for them? Um, so I have a friend um, and she's went through a lot of hard times, a lot of challenges, but she's overcome um, whether it was weight loss or career change, but her and I have always had a great relationship and we've supported each other equally. So a lot of times I've supported her even from far away um, or there was a, a surprise where she'd show up, show up and um, supported me when she showed up at my house and she lives miles, several miles away. Um, but she's at a place right now where she feels whole, where Wonderful. she feels good mentally, physically, spiritually. She has a good job. And I know that I, I took pride, pride in being a part of that um, success for her. And sometimes we do. There are challenges in our life where we just have complete like breakdowns, yes. right? Completely breakdown, you know. But then through that, you find that like that next breakthrough, mm -hmm. right? So sometimes you have to like like things are just like oh, there is nothing. So at our table at home, we always share three good things about our day, right? Three good. Th it could be anything, you know. Did you get an A on the paper? Was somebody nice to you? Did you, you know? Because through that little bit you know yes. of gratitude and thankfulness you can yes. always find something to be happy about now i love this this you you participated in this yeah tell us about this this is fantastic i hate being broke <laughs> yes. i mean it's really obvious right yes okay. it's a very catchy title um and it's something that most people can relate to it's something that i'm sure people have said before um and what made me join this um book is that i really believe in people wanting to have financial freedom because when you have financial freedom you're able to do the things that you enjoy that you love um, and what I liked is a lot of the people that are part of this book I know personally that have went through a lot of challenges and obstacles in life and now they came out on top they're successful in their profession as entrepreneurs and they give a lot of insight on how to you know, go above and beyond how to, you know, deal with all the challenges. My particular chapter deals with turning passion into profit because yes. I'm passionate purpose and um, how you can, you know, be able to make money or even just really thinking about what your passion is and how you can make something out of that. And we call it your it, like live it up. It's whatever your it is yes. in life. And everybody has it. Everybody has a why they do what they do. I always tell people sometimes to look back to who they were in second grade. Mm. And whatever you wanted to be in second grade, chances are you can still be that or yes. somehow participate. So maybe you didn't grow up to be an astronaut. You wanted to be an astronaut, but that doesn't mean that you couldn't have a space industry related position. Exactly. Um, just yesterday, I met a woman who uh, is a hospice nurse, mm -hmm. but she said that her passion is dolphins. And every time she goes on vacation and I said, well, have you thought about being a volunteer at the aquarium? Her face lit up. So I know you do that for other people too. You talk with them, you find it out, what their passion is. Yes. So what's the most interesting passion that you've heard somebody share, that they wanted to do what? Um, I actually came across someone who wanted to be a uh, detective, um, like the CSI. Yeah. Doing like crimes and trying to figure things out. And so that, that was interesting because I didn't know that. But, um, you know, sometimes people really dig deep and they think about things that that they may want to do that other people might not see them doing, but I somehow get them to be, be authentic yes. in right. that sense and do that. To so. be a yes for themselves. Yes, So exactly. how can people work with you, Nicole? How can they reach out to you and, and, and start engaging in, in what you offer? So I'm on social media and for example, Instagram, NicoleJ.car um, and also Nicole J. Carr. 
um, Twitter, YouTube, um, and they can find you. Oh, yeah, they anywhere, can find right? me anywhere. And, and they should buy this book, right? Yes, and that's also for purchase on my website, uh, passionatepurposeblog.org. Congratulations. Thank Wishing you Wishing so you much. all the best. Really, really happy that, you, that you've spent some time with us. Thank you. So, yay! Go team! <laughs> We're here for you. We love hearing your successful stories. Please reach out to us through email or call us. We'd love to hear about your successful journey.